I have here a variation on a, uh, a filing button. I use this to put consistent round corners on uh, pieces of thin stock. It's just a piece of scrap metal, uh, nothing special, it's about 10 gauge. Each of these radiuses is nothing special. Uh, this one is the radius of a dime, nickel, quarter, and then the big one was a piece of round stock I had laying around. And I very carefully, using the belt sander, took it down so it was a good match to those radii. Uh, nothing precision. I don't know what those diameters are. I don't care. I'm just doing this for looks. But uh, the way I use it is here's a piece of typical aluminum that I want to put a round corner on. And let's say I, I want to put it on this one. So first thing I want to do is protect the surface. So I'm going to put down some 3M painting tape. And then I'm going to put down a couple of these neodymium magnets. They're a little hard to handle. That's my clamp. So I put that down on the tape and then I push the piece of stock such that and here's just a, a fence I use. Push it against the fence. The piece of stock I know is square so I'm not too worried about having to go back and forth a lot. But you can see now that the uh, corner is exposed and here's the edge that I'm going to be going down to and as long as I take a light don't push this too hard it won't slide these magnets are pretty strong they're uh, half inch by half inch by eighth inch N42 type neodymium magnets so the next step and I'm going to leave the camera where it is because all I'm doing is putting it on a small belt sander and I'll show you the belt sander but I it's nothing special uh, I don't want to have my camera drop into the belt sander so I'm not going to video the actual cutting of it but I'll show you some intermediate steps first thing I did is uh, you can see cut it. I'm, I'm grinding down the tangent and as I'm running the belt, I can easily tell the difference between abrading away this thin aluminum plate before I hit the steel. took a lot less time than the real time of this video because I turned it over to look at it and these magnets jumped off and stuck to the table. So I'll do one more and you can see that it actually goes quite fast. So there's the first edge and it's a match to that radii, radius. And I just slide the part around. I don't move the magnets, don't need to. Use fence just to pull it tight. You can do that by eye. It depends on how, how accurate you want to be. Second in, second corner done. So that time I didn't fight with the magnets. And just keep working around. third corner. Actually you can see I need to go just a tiny bit more there. Okay. So there's my third corner. I have one more to go. And this time Let me hold the camera. I know it's going to be 
kind of jerky, but maybe I can take a video. Sorry for the jerkiness, I think it was out of frame for part of it. But, uh, as you can see, it goes very fast, and it doesn't, I don't have any skill when it comes to doing things like this. But I can certainly feel the difference between the aluminum and the, and the edge. So, slide the magnets off, take off the protective tape, and there's the part that's uh, got all the corners rounded. And uh, so I was focusing more on the video than getting everything just perfect. So, yeah, it's not the best job. I don't think the part was quite as square as I thought it was. But I hope you get the idea. So this uh, filing plate, I guess you could call it, uh, easy to do for a new someone new to the hobby. And uh, it might improve your uh, the look of some of your your projects when you want to make rounded corners on plates. So that's all for now.